Hey guys, so I just heard about this new body positivity gamer ad Dove dropped. Normally, I just skip them because honestly, I just find them obnoxious at this point. Don't get me wrong. The concept they began with all those years ago was all about uplifting those who truly needed it. And it was pretty powerful. But now they've gone from promoting true acceptance of all to strictly promoting unhealthy lifestyles more than anything else. And I must state again, if you are obese and just trying to live your best life, do you boo, whatever makes you happy. Where I have a problem is when they try to convince others, especially young people, that this lifestyle is good, safe, and healthy when we all know it is not. Well, now that they've co-opted the fat liberation movement in real life, they've decided to come after video game characters. Yes, I said video game characters. I'm not kidding. So Dove partnered up with Epic Games and decided it was time to change virtual beauty standards. Ugh. As a gamer, all I have to say is, GTFO, are you kidding me? Guys, we're going too far. Y'all need to calm the <clears throat> down, okay? Let me play this new ad for you. So here we have our character, a strong, fit heroine saving the day. Looks like a pally to me. After the battle is won, just like on a movie set, we cut to her getting off this set and getting into her dressing room. Now our hero is back at her dressing room. She looks around to see how perfect she looks in all her hero glory. Then she stops at the mirror to pose in her gear, only to begin taking off her constricting armor. And this, my friends, is where the true audacity begins. Wow, a huge, literally huge reveal. Our hero has actually been obese this whole time. But because of those pesky beauty standards, she has been forced to hide who she really was. Oh, and as a side note, I highly doubt she could have corseted that much flesh into that kind of shape. But anyways, who am I to second guess the mental gymnastics here? Because what a miracle she truly is. Not only does she somehow manage to squeeze herself into constricting metal plate gear, but she has the stand speed and strength to battle monsters without losing breath yet she loses the battle against the bulge daily our hero does not have the willpower to control her food intake Ugh, guys i am really trying not to be mean or rude here but this is just stupid the whole representation crap is getting out of hand. We don't need to have every single type of human represented everywhere, all the time. I mean, we're supposed to have some creativity and imagination, right? To be able to see ourselves in others. I don't have to see a carbon copy of myself to do that. I am fully capable of watching, let's say, Captain America without looking exactly like him and still find his struggle with fitting in relatable. Even though he's a superhero, a male, tall, built, you get me? Look, I'm not skinny. I've never been skinny. But I know what it's like to be overweight. All the issues that come with it. Nothing to be proud of. The ultimate goal should always be our health and well-being. Which means getting to a healthy weight. And not enabling or worse, glorifying poor health choices. Not to mention, I've been a gamer my whole life. You know, one of those elusive girl gamers. Imagine that. When I created my blood elf in World of Warcraft, I love the fact that she could be petite, cute, sexy, and fierce. I was an awesome arcane mage. Why would I want to play a hero that's fat and unhealthy? The whole point of diving into a game is being able to step out of your own reality and create the type of character and world you would love to be in. Who in their right mind thought this was a good campaign? They obviously do not know their audience. I mean, 
I guess I shouldn't be surprised after the whole Bud Light debacle, but damn people. Actual gamers want a badass character representing them, not a fat ass one. Listen, there are two types of gamers. The ones that create ungodly beast looking tunes because they want to be scary, strong, and put fear into the hearts of the other players. And then there are those who create the type of hero that fits their own ideals of what they think the perfect hero would look like. You know, someone they wish they could be. I wonder, whose delusions are they trying to feed into here. Gamers play games because they love the immersiveness of jumping into a whole new world where they could be anyone they want. Can we just leave video games out of this fat liberation propaganda? Let's be real. True body positivity is great, but this isn't it. I can almost bet that even disabled gamers, for instance, those in wheelchairs, would prefer to play a character where through them, they could still run, jump, and walk. Kind of like Jake Sully in Avatar. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Make it make sense. Now, back to our mighty hero, who at this point in the ad decides that today is the day that she goes out into the battlefield without any of her plate gear. Instead, she'll use her fat as a shield. Dude, <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. It is unreal. Then they provide a statistic that most likely they pulled right out of their... <clears throat> You know, that 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games. Apparently, a number they got from a 2022 study that they conducted. How convenient. Chances are, they meant underrepresented in video game lead storylines and not physically. Of all the ladies I've played video games with over the years, I have yet to encounter one who wants their tune to be an actual physical representation of themselves and not a fantasy version of someone they came up with. Then we get to their ad campaign slogan. Let's make virtual beauty real. No, we don't need to. Oh my God. Then we see a side-by-side -side comparison of a real girl next to this character. I'm gonna put some bets down that this is the mad girl gamer who influenced this whole campaign. I'm sure she'll be Fat Liberation's next hero. Seriously, guys, this needs to stop. Like, enough is enough already. They've ruined movies. TV shows, comic books, and I guess that wasn't enough. So now they're coming after video games too. All right, guys, sorry, but I just had to vent. If you enjoyed my video, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more of my stuff. Catch y'all later.